Wool is the original miracle fibre. Sheep have been developing it on their own backs for many, many years. It will keep people warm or cool. It doesn't burn until it gets to 600 degrees. It has a resilience and memory, which means it springs back. All of that without having to be made out of oil. I'm Sue Blacker and I'm the Managing Director of the Natural Fibre Company. We are the smallest big processor and the biggest small processor of wool in the UK. We take the fibre as it comes from the animals and process it all the way through to a finished yarn. These may be for knitting or weaving and we make them from wool or other fibres that come from alpaca and angora goats. Most of our customers make their own arrangements for selling their yarn. Some of them get it made into knitwear or textiles, but the majority actually make knitting yarns, which they then sell on through local markets or through online shops. When the fibre arrives, it is weighed in and identified so that it always is known to belong to the person who sent it to us. Sorting is the first process that we do. We take the wool from its sack, pass it across the sorting table and remove any bits that will spoil the final quality. The next process is scouring. Scouring is the traditional term for what most people think of as washing. The scouring machine is 40 feet long, but it does a whole ton in a day. Once we have the dry wool, we can start the real processes. The first one is blending. This is a very important foundation process to take the dried and sometimes slightly matted wool and separate it all out so it's ready for carding. The blending machine is called a fear naught and that's because it's quite a fearsome beast and it lives in a cage. What the fear naught does is brush apart the wool. It's like a giant and fairly aggressive hairbrush. Once the fibre is blended, we have a big bag full of loose fluff. That fluff is then ready for carding. Carding in some ways is the heart of the process. It takes the fibre that's already clean and makes it into something which can be spun. The carding machine is 40 feet long and 5 foot wide, and we have two of those. If we're making a worsted yarn, we use the first half only. If we're making a woolen yarn, we use the whole machine. At the end of the card, the condenser makes slubbings and those are prepared fibre ready to go to the spinning frame. Our woolen spinning frame has got 96 spindles, it's about 40 feet long. Our two worsted frames are shorter because they're two-sided, but they each have about 100 spindles. So we have here the equivalent of 200 ladies with spinning wheels. Our spinning frames make single yarns, that's one thread. We then have to ply those threads together to make them into a balanced yarn. After a yarn is plied, it's ready for finishing. Some customers want cone winding, some customers want balls, some want skeins or hanks. The ball winding machine is one of the most fun machines. It's got a really lovely mechanism that turns the yarn into a, an attractive ball. We also offer dyeing, and we dye both over white wools, but also over paler greys and fawns, which make lovely, natural-looking heathered shades. For the customer who wants to sell their yarn as a finished product in a knitting shop or on, in a market, it has to be labelled, and it has to be labelled to comply with all the regulations. We can print and design labels to include people's logos and the relevant weights. So when we have finished the balls or skeins, they are absolutely ready for sale, for retail and compliant with all the rules. The sort of stuff that we do here is really high quality. Our mill is unique because we do everything from beginning to end all under one roof. There's an enormous variety of different types of wools and knowing what they can be made into that makes the best of the fibre is what we are expert at.